Hi everyone, me again, Kim Stotzenberg. I wanted to take the time today and show you how I do my border treatment that I call heavy metal. I named that, um, came up with that name because when I drew a diagram of it out, to me it looked like um, a wrought iron design. So the first thing I've done is I've made some registration lines. Hope you can see them. Um, but I divided my border across evenly into four and a half inch squares, approximate squares, and then I've done diagonal lines. On this first square here, which would be my corner of my border, I have drawn my diagonal line um, so that the two triangles, the one is facing the body of the quilt and the other one, the opposite one, is facing the outside corner of my quilt. Then I've zigzagged across to my other corner and I want that corner to be a mirror image of the first corner so that the diagonal line is dissecting that square so one corner of one triangle is pointing out on the outer edge of my quilt and the other one back to the body of my quilt. I've done that. I want my corners to be in that orientation so when I go to turn, I can turn the quilt um, easily and keep the border design flowing around the corner. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start in my corner here and I'm going to quilt a partial design in my first triangle and every other triangle. So I'm going to do a swirl up the diagonal. ending at my intersection of my registration lines. And when I do that swirl, I want to be careful that I don't come out too far into my triangle so when I finish the design, I still have room for my quilting. So then I'm going to come down with the same type of a swirl to my intersection. Now across the bottom, And then I just repeat that design. When I get to the opposite corner, now I'm going to work my way back in the opposite direction. Now as I come down, I want to try to mirror image the first half of that design as closely as possible. If it doesn't match exactly, that's okay because we're doing this freehand. And then I just repeat all the way across until I get to the beginning. Once I get to the corner, now I'm going to go up the outside edge. And then across. and then back to finish the design.
Here's a better shot of it so you can see the design. Hope I make, don't make you too dizzy. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.